Welcome to this presentation of a project that has achieved huge savings, better control, and substantially better outcomes by implementing our solution for building lifecycle intelligence. We wanted a program that could put all the central data for the building in one place. And we also wanted it to be an open system so other softwares could uh, collect the data from this database. There are nine unique things about this project that I would like to bring to your attention. We have one master database for all disciplines that synchronize with the models. It's always up to date and always available to the team. Equipment from multiple models in different disciplines gets connected to the actual system inside of Dorophus, such as the power supply for a ventilation system. This is normally overlooked within the model. The automatic generation of classifications and unique identifiers are synchronized into the geometric models. This is very difficult to do manually within modeling tools. All relevant objects and systems are tagged with status codes for easy tracking of construction site progress and cross-discipline coordination. The really big advantage is that all contractors, all project leaders and everyone in the owner's organisation know exactly how far we've come on the construction site. All the subcontractors know that when they can start their own work because they can see when the other subcontractors have finished their parts. Power BI, uh, Power BI dashboards run on top of Dorophus, providing live status of the construction project and critical project management information. Streambim, uh, how we are. Streambim has embedded the Dorophus property pane via our API, allowing on-site updates of data directly into the master asset database, which is synchronized to the native design and engineering models, plus into IFC files. All product, uh, information. All product and FM information are efficiently collected in Dorophus. Property data and documents can be entered manually or filled out automatically through our connections to external product libraries. In this project, we work with the documentation uh, to get it delivered and controlled before work starts on the site. Uh, and it differs from a normal project where all the documentations uh, are delivered after the building is finished and um, the quality of the documentation is maybe not as good usually. In this project we have it delivered and controlled before we start building. Complete and correct FM documentation is available at the end of the project. The master asset database will also be used during the operation phase, linked to the FM and building control systems via API connections. We have a 100% digital project. Printed drawings are simply not used on site. The way that we work on this project is a totally new way of working, and Drophus has been an important part of this. It, it was a request by the client to use Drufus. Uh, they wanted a digital twin, uh, and uh, Drufus was an important part of uh, having that digital twin with all the functionality and data we were required to have. The most important part with Drufus for this project is the cross-discipline coordination of both data and also being able to work uh, in the same environment for all parties both contractors uh, and uh, consultants, so we can collaborate and have the same data and update data and also have the responsibilities for different data on elements in, say, the consultant models. Previously, this was not possible for contractors to be part of having data into the consultant model. In, in terms of our workflow in the project, um, the Rovers has facilitated centralization of um, a quite a bit of data, which all the different uh, actors can access at once. We only need to look uh, one place for the data, 
at any given time, and we know that the data is um, always being updated. Well, working with the Rovers has affected our workflow uh, in terms of better collaboration with the client and the entrepreneurs. It's crucial for a project to, to actually have just one origin of data, meaning a master data set. That is absolutely crucial. The discussion of uh, which data set is the right data set, that is not something we don't discuss. And now we're discussing how can we use it in collaboration. That is a, basically, uh, I would say, a game changer. Previously, we were supplying our uh, delivery using 2D drawings, either PDFs or paper drawings. Now we can deliver this in, uh, in using Drawfus and in the BIM model, and we can supply a lot of more information, both from or via Drawfus, and also from Drawfus to our models. It's a big advantage to have all the documentations in one place. You never have to wonder where to find it. And we uh, find the object we're looking for, click on it and get straight into the Rufus and you can find all the documentation needed there. We can now deliver uh, information to the contractors with a lot higher precision and um, more um, it's more available to the contractors. Building period is five years. This building is meant to last for maybe 60, 70, 80 years. And that's when they are maintaining the building and running the building. Having a third party database that connects all this information is crucial. I, think. Yeah. I don't think uh, we can work on large projects without having this in place. The conclusion is that these tools and workflows have generated huge savings and substantially better project outcomes and control for all project stakeholders. Thank you.